Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be solving another question where we have x to the 5 is equal to 9 to the x and we know our x belongs to real numbers and we have to figure out the value of the x for this equation. So looking at the equation we'll see that this is something that we can definitely use the Lambert W function to solve. So let's start with the, since we have x in the exponent, the common way is either logarithm or natural log on each side since it looks like that we can solve this with lambert only function let's go with the natural log and we're going to have the natural log of x to the 5 is equal to natural log of 9 to the x from the laws of the logarithm when we have the natural log of a to the b this b blocks to go in the back of the log or ln so it will be equal to b times ln of a so keeping that in mind 5 can go in the back and x can go in the back too so so 5 times ln of x is equal to x times ln of 9. So what we are interested in Lambert double function is a squared times e to the squared. So we are looking for something like this when we are using the Lambert double function and uh, we have a lot of videos in the channel about the concept of Lambert double function. So feel free to check those out. So keeping that in mind we're gonna keep the ln of x and x on one side and all the uh, constant values on the right side. So we're going to divide this by 5x and on the left side we get ln of x over x and on the right side we have ln of 9 over 5. And we know e to the power of ln of x is equal to x. We can write down ln of x over e to the power of ln of x is equal to ln of 9 over 5. So when we have 1 over a, this can be written as a to the power of minus 1. So the positive, if it goes on the numerator, it will be negative, which is what we have for the e in here. So it can be written as ln of x times e to the power of minus ln of x is equal to ln of 9 over 5. Looking at the Lambert double function we need these two boxes same as each other and what we can do in here is that if we multiply a negative into this equation we can build that box that we are looking for so minus ln of x times e to the power of minus ln of x is equal to ln of 9 over 5 and we have a negative sign in here too and there we go we built that box in here and now we're good to go to do our Lambert W function and if we get back to the definition of Lambert W function in here when we do the Lambert W function in this one we're gonna get the box so here if we do the Lambert W function of minus ln of x times e to the minus ln of x and if we do the same thing on the right side of the equation too so minus ln of 9 over 5 we have this box and the box would be our answer on the left side of the equation so minus ln of x is equal to lambert double function of minus ln of 9 over 5 so here this time we're going to do the reverse uh, of the law that we discussed at the beginning of the, the question so this is basically our b that we have in here so we already have this b in the back of the log or ln and we're going to switch it back so we have a minus one in here that's going to come to the top so this is going to go in here which is minus one so we have ln of x to the minus 1 is equal to Lambert double function of minus ln of 9 over 5. And we know when we have ln of a is equal to b, we know the base of ln is e. So e to the b is going to give us a. So here, since we have ln, we will have x minus x to the minus 1 is equal to e to the power of w minus ln of 9 over 5. And we know x to the minus 1, as we discussed, is 1 over x. So if we want to find the x in here, we have to switch the numerator and denominator on each side. And on the right side, we're going to get 1 over e to the power of Lambert double function of minus ln of 9 over. So looking at this, if we want to find the value of minus ln of 9 over 5, if we calculate this value, that's going to give us minus 0.44, which is not in the domain of the Lambert W function for real numbers. But obviously, we can go with the complex answers, which is not what we are looking for in here. So there is actually a website that you can find the value of the 
Lambert's Euler function and I actually have a video that I showed how we can find the Lambert Euler function is. Uh, so there is a website called Wolfram Alpha that can calculate the Lambert Euler function for you guys. I'm going to put the link in the description below but since this is not in the domain of the Lambert Euler function for real numbers we don't have any answers for this question. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you have any questions or any other solution to solve this and you guys take care I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.